Do you believe that everything, absolutely everything happens for a reason? And you know, it is always, absolutely always, easier to believe that everything happens for a reason when when that whatever happened you know is a pleasant experience but what about those times about those experiences when something bad happened and when i say bad i sort of want to do this because there is no good or bad whatever happens just happens and of course, we need to put some words, we need to put labels so we can describe the experience. But there is no good or bad. And you don't need to believe what I believe. However, I would like to invite you to come back if you feel safe and you know comfortable to come back to those situations. Come back and observe, just reflect, you know, whatever happened, bad or extremely bad, what happened after that? Compare yourself to you today and to that person from that experience from the past. Compare those two persons, which of course, you know, is, that is you. But when you compare, just try to see and notice whether that experience shaped you into the person you are today. Would you be... Who are you today without that experience? This is my question. Would you be that person that you are today? Would you be where you are today if you didn't have that experience? Which was probably bad or sometimes, you know, very bad. And I would like to share my personal experience. You know, when my mom died with cancer, cancer come back to her and 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 to her and she just died very suddenly of course you know what reason could be there when i lost my mother i was grieving i was sad you know, all these emotions but most you know the the most of all i felt guilty i felt guilty because i was not daughter my mother expected me to do and and I I take full responsibility I used to argue with my mother I thought she was controlling I was like sometimes very nasty to her because I just thought she is trying to control me and I knew she is you know already dying and she has that terminal cancer but I still thought she is controlling me and when she died, I felt guilty that I was that nasty person to her. And of course, you know, it's just not one person's uh, game, as I say, you know. But I take full responsibility, full responsibility. And I now know that that whole experience happened for a reason. Because after my mother died, I went through all, you know, emotions that you know usually you're supposed to go but I understood one thing my mother was not controlling I thought she was controlling my mother all she wanted to be loved to be accepted and to feel safe and because I was not at the level I thought I was I didn't give her love i didn't give her acceptance i didn't give her safety well i maybe I, I i gave some but not fully and that's why that friction happened between us however now i know you know it just gave me totally different insight and i became literally a different person now when i look at you i see you 
I see you. I see that you want to be loved. I understand that you want to be accepted. And I totally, totally understand that you want to be safe. And if I'm around, that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to love everyone. I'm trying to accept everyone. And I'm trying to make them safe. Does that work all the time? No, because I'm human. But I know that whatever happens, everything happens for a reason. And I would like to share the last thought because I could talk about everything happens for a reason till, what is that saying? Till the cows come home. But I'm not going to. I just would like to mention this. You know, we are soulful beings. All of us, before we came to this experience, this earthy experience on this planet, we were souls. You know, we were souls. And our soul, like hundreds of thousands of years ago, received an assignment. And that assignment has small assignments, like small strategic plans. And in every experience on Earth, on, on some other planets, our souls live that assignment, live that mission, if you want to call it, live that experience. And all, of course, all these assignments and all these missions are just experiences. So... Whatever is happening or whatever happened in the past, whatever is happening now, whatever is going to happen in the future, is just only our soul having their experience. That's all. There is nothing good or bad. Just our soul having an amazing experience probably. And... Our soul wants to have up and downs. Our soul wants to feel like we sometimes are in the ocean and waves come and uh, comes, uh, come and they go away. That's how our soul wants to experience everything is possible to experience in this human body. And then when our soul and we, like as I say, our soul, we will transition to some other experience. There will be some different experience, but here, because we are humans, we feel all all the emotions. We could be good, we could be bad people, whatever. It's just an experience. So that's why when I say everything happens for a reason, I truly believe in it. There are no mistakes in the universe. So how do you think... Our creator just dropped you here, boom. So you are like having no no purpose, no reason to be here. So how is that possible? It's not possible because everything happens for a reason. And that's why I, this video is actually just to encourage you to reflect on your past bad experiences and how those experience, experiences shape, shaped you into a person you are today. And guess what? We still evolving. Everything is a process. You know, the, all these assignments that our souls receive, everything is in a process. So whatever is happening now, just know you are changing, you are evolving and there is no need to um, feel guilty find the tools find the techniques to make peace with yourself and just know that everything happens for a reason and I as I said I can I can talk about everything happens for a reason till the end of the <laughs> of the life yeah ask yourself what is your reason what is your reason here? And you see that everything that is going on and everything that happened in the, uh, you know, in the past, everything led you to this very moment. And whatever is happening today will lead you to, 
tomorrow will lead you to your future. So there is no need to struggle. There is no need to feel guilty. There is no need to um, feel extremely angry. Find peace knowing that everything happens for a reason. And why is this now video again? What is that to do with business building? Everything, absolutely everything. Because business and life or life and business, the line between two are non-existent. There is no line. There is no balance between work and, and business and life. Everything is one. Everything is one. You are, a, you know, the whole holistic being with soul. So how do we think, you know, there is separate life, separate business, separate areas? No, everything is one. But that's for another video. Because when you do your inner work and all these reflections are part of the inner work, you understand that you are one not only with your soul but with each other. I am here because you are and you are here because I am. So let's love each other, let's pray for each other and let's forgive each other what we did or didn't do. Because again, I will repeat myself, everything, absolutely everything happens for a reason. And I, and I am open to friendly discussions. You may have a different understanding and I respect that. And we can talk and you can put your thoughts in the comments and I will be open to discuss it. But for now, I shall say goodbye and I'll see you next time. I'm Lolita Reed. If you like what you hear, you can always subscribe to my channel. I can't even pronounce that word. However, you can always be part of my community. I am trying to now grow this uh, channel because I literally have a lot of things and a lot of insights to share. And I am going to do that. I'm going to share how I see the world and how I see myself and how I see you because we are one. Bye.